like yas, but less excited. <laughs> um, I'm Gen Z, which probably isn't a surprise to you because I look like I'm sponsored by Urban Outfitters. <laughs> Still waiting for the email. Um, it's probably also not a stretch of your imagination when I say that I refer to myself as being neurodiverse. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> For those of you who don't know, neurodiverse is the term that us Gen Zs have given to what the Victorians would have referred to as developmental retardation. <laughs> <laughs> but we didn't like it, so we changed it, jazzed her up, <laughs> and that was all good. Um, and if you've ever been called neurotypical, it's okay, it just means that you're the most boring person in your friendship group. <laughs> Sorry about it. Recently single as well. I yeah, know that's what I thought. But I'm going to be honest. That's not how it's turned out. Um, if I'm being completely honest, the bar is depressingly low. Um, the bar is a lot lower than I thought it would be. <laughs> to be honest, uh, Tyrion Lannister would struggle to limbo under the bar. That I have set for the old gentleman caller. Uh, started finding mullets attractive. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> uh, Mustaches as well. So it's it's been a nice month. <laughs> it's been an exciting month for me. Um, went back to a guy's house literally like last week because he said he could show me his rifle collection. <laughs> yeah, no, don't ever do that. By the way, <laughs> don't ever do that. Um, he had seven. <laughs> um, also been called good girl recently. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, I don't know why I allowed it to happen for a second, but I did. And um, it's just not for me. Look, like I, I don't need to be called good girl, um, cause I know. <laughs> but also it just doesn't do it for me. Like, do we have any couples in the audience? Couple? Couple. We got a couple at the back. Hello. What are your names? Julia. Julian and Jay. and Jay. We're using good girl in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Julian's like, don't say a word. <laughs> don't say a fucking word, Jay. I swear to God. <laughs> We're using it. Is it for you, Jay? No, it's not. Um, no one's ever said yes. I'll be honest. Uh, no one's ever said yes. Uh, and it's a bit like me. It's too positive reinforcement -y, um, for me, personally. And look, I can't judge. I'm not going to judge anyone in the audience who does like it, because um, it worked great for me when I was potty training. <laughs> I remember it being a really good, uh, good tactic. Um, but if you really, in the bedroom, want to positively reinforce me, um, just make me come. <laughs> that would be a lovely surprise. <laughs> How much time have I got? <laughs> Two minutes. Oh, I'm going to tell you a story about the guy who lasted the same. <laughs> Yay! Thank you. Thank you. Um, I do actually have a long story version of this, uh, but we don't have a lot of time. Uh, basically, there was a guy that I met, went on a date. Um, it seemed like it was going to go really, really well, because um, he had a mullet, tick, moustache, tick, and a job. So if the bar's here, <laughs> we're already up here. Um, and we had sex. I don't know. It was all right. But I, um, I suggested, you know, the extra mile, you know? You know, the old, um, you know. I know Jane knows. <laughs> Um, and he said, ew, I'm not doing that, that's incest. <laughs> I know. Um, but at the end of the day, I should have known, because he emigrated from Australia, so he obviously wasn't going to like it down under. <laughs> Thank you very much. I was having a